there were lots of transformations happening on the compound in this final episode. We saw Joan turn on her friends. We saw Malcolm turn on Andrew and Brian. We've also witnessed Zane go through her transformation from meek and mild to becoming ruthless herself. Another transformation was seeing River go from worshiping the highest to wanting to murder him through the magic. Now, the reason that this cliffhanger wasn't the biggest one to me is because we kind of know or we think that we know how Ruthless is going to end. And if you know anything about Jim Jones or David Koresh or Malachi York, then we know that this is not how it ended for either of these three notorious cult leaders, coupled with the fact that they've already wrapped on season four of Ruthless and the highest has a whole lot more cussing and fussing to do, right? So I think it's safe to say that he has not met the Raku just yet. River has had just about enough of the highest in his abuse. He talked to Ruth about the abuse that he was suffering, but this time was different. This time he'd had enough. This time he swore to Ruth that if it ever happened again, that he was gonna intentionally overdose the highest through the magic. There have been more than a few times when one of the soldiers would be injecting the highest and he'd ask for more, but they'd refuse. I even remember Daikon refusing to pump his arm full of poison after he begged him. But this time, River was the one administering the magic. He's the one that's in control. And that's a dangerous place to be when you feel betrayed and you're angry and you're hurt and just tired of being mistreated by someone who claims to love you, especially after he was just forced to kill himself to show loyalty to a man who could care less whether he lived or died. Now, in this final scene, we could see the evil in River's eyes. We saw that nothing else mattered, not the highest, not the money, not the power, nothing. All he wanted was to stop being scared long enough to convince the highest to first not kill him. And two, to allow him to give him the magic to calm him down. And at this point, River knows the cycles of the highest behavior. He goes from happy and calm to anger and then rage and uncontrollable manic behavior, right? So this worked to his advantage because he now knows that Elder Mother has been lacing his food with mind altering drugs. And as he was giving him the magic, he told the highest to be calm and to rest, all while the evil danced around in his own eyes. Now he's on that same time that Zayn is on. Now he's doing just as much evil as they all are. But I really don't blame River. I mean, he has to do something, right? He has to be stopped. And this is the only way that he sees that he can stop him. Now, I'm only assuming that the highest is around in season four. Do you guys think that River really took him out? Will someone knock on the door and come in to save him? Maybe Elder Mother will bring him around another plate of food. <laughs> Who knows? So this was the third and final cliffhanger, guys. So let me know what you think about it down below. There were other interesting things that happened, other things that went on, like Laura and Aaron. Will they make it out alive? We can't forget about the compound visitors. We have Mac that should be on his way. And we can't forget about the Oval crossover. We've got Richard, who may be coming, Sam, who should also be coming. So we've got a lot of storylines that could be happening in season four. Uh, but will that be the end or will it be the beginning of something else that could be happening on the compound that could keep this series around for, I don't know, years to come? Let me know what you think below and give this video a thumbs up while you're down there if you like the video. If you're a fan of Tyler Perry's Ruthless, go ahead and sub to the channel for more videos just like this one. Thank you once again for joining me on today's episode of Ruthless TV, you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.